very important. And from a difficulty point of view, with a short synopsis of that program. When you've finished with it, press backup. You've also got the option of going into an A to Z listings, also sorted by program genre. Here, you can jump to any letter using the letter buttons. For example, for C, hit the number two button three times. You can also narrow your search by subgenre using the colored buttons. When you find a program you'd like to watch, highlight it, press select, and your Digibox will tune to it. You can also call up the information banner for the program you're watching with the I button. And if you're watching a movie, it tells you when it started and how long it runs. Again, backup removes it. Another useful function in Sky Guide is the personal planner. This will tell you when selected programs are about to start. You can set a program to be in your personal planner several ways. For example, by highlighting a future program in TV Guide and pressing Select. The personal planner screen will then appear with details of all the programs selected. Or you could select a future program from the Search and Scan banner. A reminder icon will then appear to show that it has been added. In Personal Planner, you can use the red button to activate Auto View for selected programs. Your Digibox will then automatically switch over to the selected program at its start time. This useful function allows you to set your video to record different channels when you're away. You can also use Personal Planner to series link certain programs by using the green button. Then if you watch the program, Series Link will automatically add the next episode of that series into your personal planner. One other thing, when you're in an A to Z listing, you can use the channel plus and minus buttons to change pages up and down. And you can also use the one or zero button on the remote to search for programs or films beginning with numbers or for anything starting with an icon. When you hit the Services button, you'll find a number of ways to help you get more from your Digibox. One of these is the Parental Control option, which allows you to restrict access to certain films or programs. Go into number three, where you'll be asked for your PIN. The installation engineer set your PIN and left you with a written copy, but you can change it at any time. After you've entered your PIN, you can restrict viewing either by category, 15, 18, etc., or by price, controlling access to certain pay-per-view events if you wish. Follow the instructions at the bottom of the screen. Staying in the services menu, if you go into system setup, number four, you can choose your preferred viewing setup. Here's one you may find useful. If you have a standard TV, you may not see all of the picture on a Sky Premiere widescreen presentation. However, you can see a full widescreen picture in a letterbox format by activating the letterbox mode in picture setup. Simply highlight it and turn it on using the left-right cursor arrows. Also in services is the favorite channels function, which lets you select up to 20 favorites by highlighting your chosen channels and marking them as a favorite with the yellow button. When you're happy with your selection, press select to save it. Now when you're watching Digital Satellite and call up the search and scan banner, you can skip straight to your favorite channels by pressing the blue button. And if you want, you can change your list of favorites anytime. Also, you can now get subtitles through your Digibox, activated in the services menu. And unlike Teletext, this only needs to be done once. Sky Guide is the fast, easy way to order a Sky Box Office movie or event. Hit Box Office for a list of all the available films at all the available times and highlight your choice. Press Select to order, then you'll see a program details screen. If everything is correct, press Select again. If the program is subject to a parental control or spending restriction, or is outside normal watershed hours, you'll then be asked for your PIN. If ordering in advance, the program will automatically be added to your personal planner. 
However, if you don't watch your selected program, don't worry, you won't be charged. You'll find a preview of all the Sky Box Office movies on Channel 700. Okay, we're ready to light this candle. The A to Z listings is also available in Box Office, displaying all films alphabetically from their next showing. When you select a film from here, you can then choose the start time that you prefer. There's also a menu that shows you all the box office movies starting in the next hour, listed by start time. And if you want to see what's new each week, new movies will list the first run of movies shown over the next seven days, listed alphabetically. Plus, as with the main A to Z TV listings, you can refine your search using the subgenres listed at the bottom of these box office screens, accessed with the colored buttons. If you want any more information, check out Using Your Sky Digibox, which came with your equipment, or the Sky Customer Magazine. If you ever need immediate assistance, or would like to upgrade your viewing package, then call one of our customer services numbers listed in the welcome pack, or in the services section of Sky Guide, under useful telephone numbers. The lines are open between 8.30 in the morning and 10 o'clock at night, seven days a week. Keep up to date with all the new Sky Guide services as they come online by tuning into channel 999 for a monthly roundup of news and events on Sky's digital platform. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoy Sky Digital. Congratulations on getting Sky Plus, the next step in digital television. Now you too can unlock the power of Sky Plus. If you're an existing Sky customer, you'll recognize immediately most of the Sky Plus remote control. Though there are some new buttons that will help you use Sky Plus's features. Sky Plus helps you to get the most from your subscription, such as recording one digital channel while watching another. To record, you can search and scan through the shows on offer. Scan up and down the various channels. Or left and right for programs earlier or later. Then just press record. It's really that simple. Or you can use the full screen listings. The program might be on now, it might be tomorrow or even in a week. Simply highlight the program you want to record and press record. The program will then be entered into the Sky Plus Planner. The Sky Plus Planner will store this information and display all the programs Sky Plus will record or has already recorded. Sky Plus will even prompt you if you ask it to record two programs at the same time so you can choose which one you want. Press select to choose the new program or backup to return to your original choice. Simple. Sky Plus can also record episodes of your favorite shows in just one go. If you see the series link option displayed at the bottom of the screen, you can link episodes of this program for recording. Just press the button and it's set. Easy. Sky Plus records and stores your programs digitally on its internal hard disk, giving you instant access to your recordings. No tapes to rummage for and rewind. To play back your recordings, go to the Sky Plus Planner, highlight the program and press Select. You'll then see a program synopsis screen. Press Select again to play and you're off. Use the new navigation buttons to play, fast forward, pause, or rewind without having to spool back hours of tape. You can even see action sequences in slow motion by pressing and holding down the play button. When playing a recording, press select and Sky Plus shows you just how far into the program you are. 
Sky Plus gives you the power to bookmark your favorite scenes, so you can return to them instantly. All you need do is press pause and the red button. To jump from one bookmark to another, just press and hold down either the fast forward or rewind button. To view all your bookmarks, press pause and then the green button. If you've stopped watching a recording partway through, when you return to it by highlighting it in the Sky Plus Planner and pressing Select, you'll be given the choice to watch from the start or pick up exactly where you left off. The Sky Plus Planner helps you to manage what you've recorded. It displays how much recording space you have remaining and how much space any given program takes up. To free up space, you can either manually delete programs you've already watched or let Sky Plus automatically delete for you. When Sky Plus needs more disk space, it first deletes those programs you've already viewed and then those you haven't viewed. By pressing keep, you can make sure Sky Plus saves a recording for as long as you want without fear of it being deleted. If your disk is getting full and you haven't watched all of your recorded programs yet, by pressing copy, you can transfer your programs to video. Sky Plus also handles pay-per-view movies intelligently. Order a movie on Sky Box Office and Sky Plus will give you access for 24 hours up to 7 days after recording. If you don't view it, you don't pay. Sky Plus can even pause live TV. Sky Plus freezes the picture, recording your program until the very end, displaying how many minutes you're behind the live broadcast. So whatever the interruption, you'll never have to miss a thing. If you want to find out more about how to use Sky Plus, phone 08705 800 800 now, or consult your user guide. Sky Plus. It's so simple. Hi and welcome to Sky Digital.